Since the end of World War II, voters in Italy have changed governments about once every year. Tomorrow, they'll decide on a new leadership again in a parliamentary election that could result in a far-right candidate being elected prime minister. One big factor in the race, Italy's history. Chris Livesay reports from Rome on what will be a crucial election for Italy and for Europe. Chris, good morning. Good morning. Italian politics are chaotic, much like the country. Well, now there's a party that says it can finally instill order, but its opponents say those hard right politics could take the country backwards to a very dark past. They said it could never happen again. 100 years ago, Mussolini marching on Rome, plunging the country into two decades of dictatorship, an alliance with Hitler, and a second world war. Today, the fascist party is gone, but many say these are their political heirs, the brothers of Italy. Once on the fringes, they've ballooned into the biggest party in the country. Now their leader, Giorgia Maloney, is poised to head the most hard right government since Il Duce. The fundamental problem in Italy is becoming the, the illegal immigration. Too many immigrants. She wants, for example, to protect the, the traditional family, a family composed by a mom, a dad, and so on. Italy's conservative superstar remains fiercely opposed to adoptions and surrogacy for same-sex couples. Maloney has worked to soften her party's image in recent years, focusing on tax cuts, slashing the debt, and raising spending for low-income families. But the fiery 45-year-old hasn't dropped some of the hallmarks of Italian fascism. Irene Caratelli is a political scientist at Rome's American University. And that's clearly a post-fascist party um, with a post-fascist agenda. It has the flame uh, in the symbol of the political party that goes back to the idea of the flame on the grave of Mussolini. The same flame is on Mussolini's grave? Yes. But why do they still have the same symbol? Because the symbol is a creation, it represents a creation, the, the ideals of a history, okay? But, but if they, they know, the connection with the fascism. But if, but if there was no connection with fascism, no, wouldn't they... No, 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 but no. But why, why wouldn't they change their symbol no, then? No, 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 no. That's more than a red flag, says Edith Brooke, a renowned poet poet and Holocaust survivor. But are you worried? Yes, very much. Very, very worried. I think that uh, she is fascist. Now, this is the very balcony where Mussolini would make those fiery speeches. Those are images Georgia Maloney say have nothing to do with her party today, but since she's never governed the country before, her opponents fear that history could be repeating itself. For CBS Saturday Morning, Chris Livesay, Rome.